Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to this morning. Uh, about last, about a month ago, uh, the Fujinkai had uh, their centennial, and the theme for that service was well, observance was uh, Ichinen, which well has a lot of meanings. It means this instant, but in particular, it refers to the instant of faith. Uh, it also refers to the fact that you know this instant is all possible, including the instant of faith, because of what happens in the past, and then what that instant is also creating for the future. And uh, basically, it's saying you can't have the this instant now if it weren't for the past, and then this now is creating the future as well. So it's all a, a, a continuum. And you know, today we're having our Eitai Kyo service, which I consider a minor major service, you know, one of those, uh, maybe it's a major minor service, I don't know. But, uh, you know, even though we say it's a memorial, it's not really for remembering, you know, it's th that's not the main focus of this service. You know, the, the perpetual memorial service is for keeping the teachings that have been important and led up to today available for the f into the future. And this refers to the sutras, the books, and the traditions. The do donations to the Eitai Kyo Fund are earmarked for altar and other religious articles to help assure that we can have what we, what we require for the various rites of passage that we have as part of our tradition. And tradition and history are important. However, we need to question many of our so-called traditions. Uh, are they traditions based on the teachings, or are they customs started for other reasons? You know, they, they seem to get blended together and we have some traditions that we always do and people do things for the same reason over and over and over again, but nobody stopped to ask why. You know, one of the examples I always give is that uh, in many of our temples, you know, not that far ago in the past, all the women used to sit on one side of the temple and all the men used to sit on the other. And, uh, you know, this was something that I couldn't quite understand. And one time I asked this group, this is about, I guess, almost 30 years ago. Uh, I asked, you know, why do you sit this way? And this older woman came up and said, you know, sensei, that's ridiculous. I'll, this side is closer to the kitchen. Uh, and, and, you know, and it seems kind of uh, sexist in some ways, but it, it's a very important point. But, she was saying is that this side is closer to the kitchen, so you know, it was considered to be their duty. They had tobans to prepare the tea for after the service, and that way they can sneak away without bothering everybody else and uh, you know, prepare the tea. You know, I'm not saying that this, is, this should be continued, but that feeling needs to be uh, kept. You know, there are things that you need to do, but you want to make sure that you don't bother everybody else so that you know, it bothers their listening to the teachings. They were sacrificing their capability or ability to listen to the teachings so that it wouldn't bother everybody else, but at the same time make it a pleasant experience for everybody. You know, and that's the part we should have kept. But sometimes I wonder if we lose the wrong parts in changing some of the things that we do. So uh, you know, we need to ask ourselves, are some of the traditions that we have really traditions and where did they start? You know, when without knowledge of the history, we can lose sight of the reasons uh, behind that tradition and they can become something meaningless. You know, um, one of the best examples for these are, you know, like uh, our, our memorial services, our annual memorial services and such. You know, if you think that it's just for the sake of those that have passed away, then it's meaningless. It really is meaningless. If you turn it around, you know, instead of saying, I am doing this for them, take it so that they are doing this for me, then it becomes something meaningful. You know, they're giving us a tr an opportunity to get together and reflect and to share and learn about the Buddha Dharma. Right? If we look at it this way, then it's something important, something that needs to be kept going. If you think you can do anything for somebody, you know, Ji-chan or Ba-chan or, or your brother or sister who passed away, you know, 15, 20 years ago, that's pretentious. You know, you, you have a bigger ego problem than, than you, you, anybody would probably point out to you. Because in life, 
you can't do what you want for the people that you're close to. So to think that you can do anything for them after they passed away is pretentious. Really, you know, there's no other way of looking at it. So uh, we need to look at it from many aspects. And there are some traditions here that confuse me. And when I mention some things that I consider to be traditions uh, that are in place at most temples or, and have been a part of our you know, Jodo Shinshu history, they're looked upon as being something new and unusual. Um, you know, we need to ask ourselves, what is the real Jodo Shinshu tradition? And why is it in place? Uh, you know, does that tradition have any place here in this time and day? You know, even if it, and even if it can't be utilized as that you know, original tradition is, can it be adapted to this particular setting? Right? One of the things that confuses me, I think I mentioned it, uh, yeah, it was last month, uh, Sojoki, right? Uh, the Bishop's Memo Memorial Service and BCA Founding Day thing. Most temples in BCA observe Sojoki or Bishop's Memorial in the first week in June. For some reason, they have it here in October. And, you know, there must be a reason that it got started in October. I, I really don't know why. I ask and people think, well, it just is the way it's been. But then, you know, there must have been a reason that they picked it. I mean, you know, I mean, it probably has to do with the fact that in October, well, Jan, in July, Janu June, in June, in June, uh, it's, you know, so busy with graduation, baccalaureate, and all these other things. But then why they picked October rather than maybe, say, the end of June or something like that, or, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't quite register in my mind. But, you know, it's something that's happened. Nobody's questioned it. And it just is, you know. There must have been a reason, probably was that, that reason. But then do we want to keep it for that reason? You know, and, but there's a good aspect to this. You know, the Socho Key itself, the Bishop's Memorial Service, is taking a tradition, memorial services, and adapting it to American society. Because, you know, the Bishop's Memorial Service is our BCA Bishop's Memorial, where we honor uh, the past bishops, especially starting from the ones that uh, passed away in office. You know, uh, the stress of, the, of that position is so high, or used to be so high, that, uh, you know, we kill our bishops off when, when they were working. You know, I mean, really, we, we have to take responsibility for the stress that we gave them. Uh, Bishop Matsukage passed away in camp. You know, you, you can understand that in the relocation camps, the, the pressure trying to keep uh, the temple members spread out across the United States in, in camps uh, to keep them together, to keep the teachings going. And then like when they reestablished and started coming back to the United States, Bishop Shigefuji was in charge. And, uh, you know, he passed away in office as well. So, you know, the, there was a lot that we put onto them. But, you know, again, this is a uniquely American service based on tradition that we've created, you know. And this is something that we need to do. Um, one of the things that, you know, here is that, well, many temples will have like what they call a Shotsky memorial service, a monthly memorial service to cover the off years, the non-major years for all the, te you know, temple members, you know. And when we bring it up here and such, you know, a lot of people have never heard the, heard the idea and such. And uh, you know, a lot of times people say, what, what's probably going to happen is that people will stop doing their annual memorial services because of this. But actually it's a reminder because you're doing the off years, you do this, uh, honoring everybody that passed away in that month. Um, it reminds them that, you know, like next year is going to be a major service and that we need to, do need to get together a lot of times. Plus, you, you know, you, make, you get a lot of income because people bring in envelopes when they do that. But, uh, 